Lumos Maxima. learning about a part of magical history that's talked about in the Potter books, but you never see. I'm getting a chance to tell that now. In the 1920s, magic developed very differently in America. Many wizards have suppressed their magic to avoid being persecuted by muggles. They are therefore living in hiding. Hear my words and heed my warning. Witches live among us. They're looking to expose wizards and witches. If they succeed, we will be forced to stay in the shadows forever. And we've both lived in the shadows for too long. There's strange things going on all over the city. The people behind this are not like you and me. Just look at the evidence. Because of this tension, the wizarding world is in a state of high alert at that time. When Newt comes to New York, and one of his creatures gets out, he's immediately arrested. Beasts are a threat to giving away that wizards exist. Impound that case, Graves. Please, you don't understand. Nothing in there is dangerous. We'll be the judges of that. Graves is the head or He investigates anything detrimental to wizard kind. So setting a pack of dangerous creatures loose here was just another accident. Is that what you're telling me? I wonder. What makes Albus Dumbledore so fond of you? We don't really know who's good and who's bad until all the chips have fallen. You know which of your creatures was responsible, Mr. Scamander? Look at the marks. No creature did this. This could mean exposure. Could mean war. We got a plan, right, guys? They need our help. This is new material. There are ways in which we connect to the Potter books that I think people will find surprising. They think this is related to Grindelwald's attacks in Europe. We're talking about the first time a wizard rose and threatened the world order. I have seen a vision of immense power. This was always where I was interested in going. This is what I wanted to do.